Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Force here, and today I'd like to talk with you about BlizzCon 2013. The event is just a couple of days away, and it's a very exciting time for anyone who is a fan of Blizzard games. So what I want to do here in this video is talk with you about some of the expectations of which there are many. This is supposed to be a pretty jam-packed BlizzCon in terms of announcements and reveals. I want to talk with you about those expectations, and then also a little bit about the titles that I'm most excited for that are coming from Blizzard. So let's Let's begin by talking about the event itself. It's going to be starting this Friday at 9.30 a.m. Pacific time, lasting until 10 p.m., and then the same times on Saturday as well. So it's running all day, both days, and we're expecting these announcements to be scattered throughout the course of the event. Now, if you're not going to the event physically, you can still purchase a BlizzCon virtual ticket, which will give you access to all of the panels and major reveals. But if you want to save yourself 40 bucks, you can also just wait till all of that news comes out on the internet. Uh, I myself, right here on the channel, plan to cover any of the major announcements in video form so you could just you know save yourself 40 bucks and wait for that as well it's up to you guys though um, I know personally that I, I'm probably I'm gonna be pretty excited to actually watch the event uh, on the virtual ticket just because it's fun to see these things live uh, but that's just a personal preference and I don't mind spending the $40 so let's talk about what we are expecting from BlizzCon 2013 for their major franchises Starting things off with StarCraft 2, we are expecting to get some information about Legacy of the Void. This is the third and final installment in StarCraft 2, uh, beginning with Wings of Liberty, which was Terran-focused, then Heart of the Swarm, which was Zerg-focused. Legacy of the Void is supposed to be focusing on the Protoss and wrapping up that StarCraft 2 trilogy. You know, I'm not sure if we're going to be getting a a release window but I would not be that I would not I would not be that surprised if we got a bit of information and if a playable build of Legacy of the Void uh, was available at BlizzCon so yeah in terms of StarCraft 2 definitely going to be expecting to see some Legacy of the Void information as for Diablo 3 we already know about Reaper of Souls it has been revealed we've seen some gameplay footage trailers all sorts of fun stuff like that we know it's planned for a 2014 release so a playable build of that will very likely be available at to BlizzCon, and we'll probably get some more information in terms of uh, various features coming with the expansion, some solidified answers in terms of what they're improving upon, things, you know, we already know they're going to be removing the auction house, they're improving the loot, uh, maybe we'll even get a sneak peek, uh, a little bit of that final act, although we do have some of that uh, in video form already uh, from Blizzard when they showed off the new Crusader class. Uh, Hearthstone, one of the brand new IPs coming from Blizzard in, in conjunction with Heroes of the Storm. Uh, in terms of Hearthstone, you know, it's way too early to expect a launch date because the game is still in beta. I would not be surprised, though, if they gave away a bunch of beta keys and if they announced some sort of an open beta uh, coming later this fall or maybe sometime early next year. Uh, you know, as they continue to progress and improve and fix the bugs and fix any balance issues, we're going to move closer to that open beta and then eventually just to the full launch, uh, which I probably expect to happen in 2014 as well. Now their big moneymaker the World of Warcraft. Uh, not too long ago, we heard about the Warlords of Draenor. This is a website that was registered by Blizzard. They went ahead and made sure that they had the rights to that name as well. It is very much so anticipated that this will be the name of the next World of Warcraft expansion. Prior to that, people were looking at another trademarked name, which was the Dark Below, uh, trademarked by Blizzard. But I'm actually thinking that might be something Titan-related. Now, in terms of Titan, moving on from the World of Warcraft... I I don't know. I really, I, I so much want to hear something about that game. But given that earlier this year, they announced that they scrapped everything they were working on and went back to the drawing board, it seems very unlikely that they are ready to reveal anything about Titan, which is pretty unfortunate because I know a lot of people are itching for a new Blizzard MMO. People are getting tired of WoW, understandably so. The game's getting very, very old. And they want to hear about something new and fresh from the company. But again, I think it's unfortunately a bit too early for us to hear any news about Titan. And then finally, we have Heroes of the Storm, which was previously Blizzard All-Stars, and before that, Blizzard Dota. Uh, this is, of course, the MOBA game coming from Blizzard, in which we're going to be set in the Blizzard universe with heroes such as Thrall and the Lich King and the Witch Doctor from Diablo 3. Um, this is going to be something that we're probably going to be getting more information about, just because, again, they recently revealed that rebranding uh, of the name of the game. So maybe some gameplay footage, that'd be very nice, although it's not guaranteed 
guaranteed. I think we're, you know, we're, we're, I think we're guaranteed to see stuff about Legacy of the Void, Reaper of Souls. Uh, we're going to be getting some more Hearthstone information, and there's a pretty good chance we'll be getting stuff about World of Warcraft. Titan seems very unlikely. Heroes of the Storm, possible, maybe a teaser trailer with a new name and maybe some gameplay footage. Um, but I, I don't know if we're going to, unfortunately enough, I don't know if we're going to be getting anything solid about Heroes of the Storm either, which is a real bummer for me because Heroes of the Storm and Titan are, are both the things I am most looking forward to from Blizzard. I'm kind of excited, obviously I'm excited about Hearthstone. I'm kind of all done with StarCraft II, Reaper of Souls. I'm not sure how I feel about that. And I'm also a little excited for the next WoW expansion uh, because recently revisiting the game, I think I'd like to check out uh, what, what they have to offer next for that title. But Titan and Heroes of the Storm are the things I'm most anticipating. And unfortunately for me and anyone else excited for those two games, uh, those are the things that we are probably least likely to hear about at BlizzCon. And that's going to do it pretty much. I wanted to just talk with you guys about the expectations, about what I'm looking forward to. And I'd also like to know what you guys are looking forward to from Blizzard and what you're hoping to hear about in BlizzCon 2013. Uh, once again, I'll be sure to update the channel with any of the major announcements from Blizzard. So stay tuned for those videos. If you don't purchase the virtual ticket, if you're not going to the events, I will be sure to keep you up to date. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the content, please subscribe. And as always, Keep watching and keep owning.